What's going on, everyone? This is Jim and Jamie from Disc Golf Bra. Jamie, how you doing, buddy? Jim, how's it going? Happy to be here. This is our first crack at commentary and coverage in general, so if this is like our disc golf game, it could be our last. Yeah, well, hopefully it's not. I think we're good. All right, let's throw it down to Pete to get more info. Pete, what's going on? What's going on, guys? I'm Pete Sharon, I'm tournament director today at the Mayhem on the Mountain here in Munson, Mass. Uh, we've got a two-round event, C-tier. We've got over $1,000 added cash. Uh, 47 pros, MPOs. We got nine women out here. We got 13 MP40s. Great golf going on all day. All right, let's meet our lead card. First up, we got Alex Dragon. Minus nine, hot round of the day. Hot, hot, hot. Next up, we got Connor Waite. Connecticut plays a lot of Nichols disc golf. Minus eight. Then we have Shane Wyatt, originally from Detroit, moved to Mass. You see him all over New England. Yeah, great player. He's been playing for a while. And then we got Zach Longiel, another Connecticut guy. Rips. You got to hear the snap coming off this guy's <laughs> disc. It's uh, it's insane. All right, we got Alex on the tee. This is hole one, 495, par four. Oh. He really got over on this one and uh, gets a bad kick as well. This is um, kind of just a simple dog leg left to landing zone. Right about kind of where Connor's going to throw it is what you want to do here. There we go. Here yeah. you have a classic New England course right into the woods. Yeah, this course is amazing. Really enjoyed it. Shane putting a good rip on this one. I think that was his Star Destroyer. Yeah, wow, that was really good. And Zach, listen to that snap. He's throwing mids all day. Just right where you want to be. Simple. Beauty. All right, here we go, boys. All right, so Alex, is, these are kind of quick here. Alex does a quick uh, chop out with a Firebird. Shane does his upshot, which doesn't make it all the way up the hill and falls down. Ooh. We'll settle down to Connor's approach here. Nice forehand flick right up to the basket. Effortless, right? Floaty, effortless. Little tree kick, but I think he's okay. And Zach just almost throws wow. it in. Makes it look easy. Man. That was a close one. So we got Alex here with his upshot. Not great, but not bad. Yeah, he was stuck in the woods earlier. Shane oh, almost oh. Up there. Off the band. Connor here for his birdie. Simple tap in. All right, Zach. Tap in for birdie. And Alex and Shane both for par. So hot start with Connor and Zach. Young guys really coming out to play. All right, Connor Waite off the tee. Hold two. 361. Really kind of early release here, but you can hear he says pin high. Uh, he's throwing that rock three. He actually got from Steve Brinster, which is a good story. And what you're going to notice here is an elevated basket hanging from the trees. Makes for a tricky upshot later. Zach throwing a PA3 there. Just takes a kind of late tree, but not bad. Can it turn over? There we go, Alex. Nice line here. Shane really puts a nice move on this one. Floaty Anheuser. Nice and smooth. Oh, that's what you want. He just makes it look so easy. Always has. Zach with a quick uh, layup there. Yeah, you'll notice the layups on this hole because you do not want to miss that basket and end up on the other side. Yeah. yeah, Connor was pin high there and actually has a great approach here right under the basket. That's all you could ask for. Shane lining up a birdie. There we go. Brah. That was nice. That was wild. Hanging basket. Death putt, right? Any hanging basket, death putt. Yes, definitely death putt. Insane. Zach also with a nice par, uh, par putt there. So Shane, lone birdie of that hole. That was a great birdie for him. Hole three, we're looking at shorty, 253, but a serious hyzer uh, backhand here. <laughs> nice face there from Shane. Classic backhand hyzer throw. You want to sit right on top of the hill towards the basket. Yeah, not not a long hole. You just got to do what uh, what you want to do, and the, all these guys are doing it there, which is nice. And you'll notice with these New England courses, um, right when you think there's a fairway, there actually isn't. Alex getting a bad kick there, throwing up with his Nova, second shot here, Ooh. nice and park. And Shane for birdie. There we go. He's putting with a nice misprint Luna, hot start there for Shane. Connor birdie as well. Solid putting out of these guys. I mean, you got to be a great putter to be on lead card, right? They're just making it look easy. Yeah, definitely. Great birdie from Zach as well. All right, Alex with par. Hole four, we got a great sponsor on this one. Shout out to Disc Golf Bra. DGB. 
And Shane put in a nice little flex on uh, Destroyer there. He kicked a late tree, but not terrible. Uphill shot. Tricky getting around these trees. Yep, there you go. There's a kick. Connor hits a tree as well. I think he says he'll take that one. It actually kicked toward the basket. Hole four. This hole finishes to the right, so any kicks to the right are uh, favorable. Alex going to the forehand here a lot. Alex puts strength into that. Again. Yeah, just last two shots a little too much angle, but uh, yeah, he's got the speed. He's got the arm. Shane with his approach shot. Can it come back to the left a little? There we go. It's lovely. And Connor, again, making it look easy wow. with this little Anheuser up shot. That was looking great. Zach coming in with a backhand approach. Nice. This All course right. is great. Wood chips around the basket. Great tee pads. Disc catchers. I mean, what else do you ask for? Perfect. Another birdie for Shane there. The rest of the card's going to clean up right now. Birdie. Jeez, guys, save some birdies for me. Birdie. So Alex said save some birdies for me there. Uh, obviously a hot, <laughs> hot round. Hasn't found a birdie yet, but still time. All right, we got a short hole. Hole 5, 266, par 3. You really just want to either ace run this, or you're going to sit it right near the basket for an easy birdie. This is Connor's zone. A little high. Uh, but he goes to this disc a lot. Eh, that's fine. That'll putt there. Zach going back to that PA3, I believe it is. A little bad kick, but he'll have a look. And Alex with the forehand. That tree's huge. That's a big tree. Yeah, he's, he's getting bad kicks uh, for the first couple holes, but you can turn it around. Still time. And you'll see even with a bad tree kick, you can still come back in easy for the par. Alex going back to this Nova. He talked a lot about liking this Nova. Uh, Got to get him a dad bod Nova. That's the next thing, huh? Definitely. Connor, oh. Connor running with this P Model S. Just a little offline. All right, Shane with a birdie. Hot start for Shane there. Par tap in for Connor. Yeah, Shane's looking real good. Yeah, we've seen Shane a lot on a bunch of courses. Bridgeport, a lot of tournaments. Solid player, consistent, smart. And back to a par four, hole six. Yeah, this is a tough hole. Uphill, longer, 413, not huge distance, but uh, plays a lot more like six in the six area. You know I'd be hitting that first tree off the tee. Oh, without a doubt. Zach with that serious snap. Oh, look at that kick. Oh, the roll. Oh, no. Bad roll there. And Alex going back to the forehand. He's loving the forehand. Alex is a wild card, and I like it. He's a wild card. Again, maybe a little too much angle, but yeah, he's he's ripping on that forehand. And hard to see on camera here, but Zach just rips this about 300 feet uh, pin high. Just an unreal throw through the gaps there. This hill just scares me. Any kick the wrong way, you're going to get a massive rollback. Yeah, we can see Shane kind of in between discs here, trying to figure out what he wants to do. Definitely kind of a backhand, uh, more comfortable player, but opting for the forehand here. I almost thought he was going roller. Mitten bags. No! That's oh, no. Way. Yeah, it took, it, taking a lot of time on that one, unfortunately. And Shane will be up again here thinking about the same oh, thing. God. Oh, he's stuck now. He's got to collect here. himself. A lot of trees on this hole. You can find yourself in some serious trouble. Alex with a nice upshot there. And Shane getting back on track here. Not great, but he's up there. Hole six, definitely testing the players right now. Yeah. Connor getting a bad kick there. And like I said before, there's really no fairway. Agreed, yeah. This is kind of going back to his zone. Uh, so a lot of these shots are, you know, getting out of trouble, trying to find gaps. It's a tough hole, but uh, getting through. Shane needs his putt here. Yo. Oh, so close. Just a bit low. Shooting uphill is pain. So that's where Zach's throw, second shot landed, which was oh insane. Oh, no. Birdie. 
Alex. Alex Cheney out there with the Nova. He was talking about the Nova all day. Unfortunately, the Nova did him did him wrong here. Connor tapping in for par. Alex will bogey. Shane with the double bogey. Shane, he's feeling it. How that work, dude? That was a tough one. It's a little moment with the camera here. <laughs> great spirits, though. Great competitor there. He'll get back on track. Oh. Zach ripping on a mid-range here. He throws a mid-range farther than we throw distant drivers. It's insane. And another par four. Connor throwing a great destroyer. Low. Smooth. Alex, another tree kick early. Another tree kick for Alex. Shane throwing one of his rocks. Many rocks that he throws. It's I like pretty. that play. Just that classic Anheuser backhand. Straight, smart, yep. Alex pitching out. Cutting off a little distance. Still relying on that forehand to get him uh, through a lot of different shapes. Yeah, he's been throwing the forehand a lot. Zach throwing a beauty floater. Oh, that was great. Oh, God, fuck you, dude. Shane going back to that forehand. That forehand kind of flex he's trying to get. It's a tough line. I mean, at this point, you're just trying to get around any tree. Connor with a great approach with his zone there. Nice flex. Land soft. Alex with the scramble. Couldn't tell if he fully got out. Definitely has a putt. Shane with a great great shot there. This is Alex's. Yeah, you'll notice that a lot of rocks on this course, um, especially with this hole, it's going to stop your throw if you overthrow that basket. So they definitely help out. Yeah, definitely. Zach with a great birdie there. Alex with a decent par bid. And Connor lining up a tricky birdie here. Weird footing. There we go. Take it. Another bogey for Alex. Shane will tap in for his par. So a tough uh, first couple holes, but um, the young guys are really coming out to play here. Hole 8. 410, another uphill par 4. Not crazy distance, but kind of a funky line. See Alex go to that backhand turnover. Connor's going to his forehand. Nice. That's kind of where you want to be, right in that forehand hyzer line. You know, I like that these guys all have different style. So you're really seeing every shot play out. Shane with a beauty turnover there. And Alex going back to the forehand. Yeah. That's what you want. That's what he was looking for. He has the power. Yeah, he was happy with that. Hole 8, finally finding it. Connor's got a great view for the approach right here. Just want to sit it up near the basket. Perfect. Going back to that zone. Just nice and floaty. Stable. Lovely. A little wide out for Shane. A lot of forehand up shots here. Just trying to get, get close. Land soft. Anheuser, Zach doing the same. Ooh, looks like he skipped off that stump. Yeah, he's a little deep on this one. Alex lining up his putt here. He needs this one. And that's another Nova shot, you said? Another Nova, yeah. Doing a little dirty on this front nine. Zach with a great birdie there. Kinding up, Connor lining up his birdie as well. Solid. Shane birding as well. So three birdies on this hole. Alex tapping in. Uh, he's just got to find it. You know, he's just got to find that fire he had in the first round. All right, hole nine. This is a fun par three. Uh, 308. There's OB on the right-hand side. Zach just kind of going out uh, in, into his jump putt range. Do not be confused by the short basket. We are going off to the right more. Yeah, first round we played corals. This is the gold round. Oh. Early, early tree there from Shane. That was low on Alex's part. Yeah, it was low. Not bad. Uh, this is again. This is a tough hole. Uh, Shane lining up a forehand approach here. And you want to be careful when you go down this hill now because there is OB right after the basket. So you can overthrow this. Super OB, right? Yeah, you yeah, started to say that's OB, right? Oh, that's OB. there we go. Yeah. Yeah, he knew it as soon as it left his hand. Zach lining up uh, about a 250-foot jump putt. Just his nice, comfortable <laughs> comfortable range He there. likes it. 
It's Nova from Alex here. Alex with the rolls. Connor going to this forehand flex. Just a great course so far. Front nine is just awesome layout. Really did a great job here. Nice approach. And this is where Shane went out of bounds here. They marked him here. Everyone got together, said this is where he went out. Big putt here. Just a little offline. Alex tapping in for par there. And Zach as well. Shane's a double. Another double for Shane. Tough it's two gonna holes. Hurt him. And Connor cleaning up his par. Big keys for me for Connor is consistency. Uh, just consistent with that zone approach. He's just playing smart golf right now, and I think that's why he's in the lead. Him and Zach are at minus 13. What do you think with this front nine? I think it's a great front nine. Challenging holes. Thick wood shots. This is classic New England disc golf, and they're really putting their all into it. Yeah, a lot of smart shots. Alex struggling a little on the front, but uh, we still got the back. Thanks for checking this out, guys. Check out the back nine coming up next. Watch more disc golf.